Hello, I am Drag, and in this video, I am heated. I am so heated right now. Can you tell how heated I am right now? Uh, like, the anger is seething out of me. Today, I will be talking about why the Pokemon that I am drawing right now are dragons, and Charizard is not a dragon. Put simply, dragons are not the very limited scope that Americans generally think they are. And I'm noticing that everybody who says that Pokemon like Altaria, Mega, Ampharos, Vibrava, Alolan Exeggutor shouldn't be dragons are Americans. I'm gonna put it as like, they're, they're Americans. Just like when the fairy type was introduced, they were like, oh, well, I mean, why is this Pokemon a fairy? Why is that Pokemon a fairy? I specifically remember being one of those people. Why is this Pokemon a fairy? Why is Snubble a fairy? Even though like it's classification is literally a, a fairy. Look, look at his Pokedex, it is Snubble, the fairy Pokemon. And the reason why is because similar to fairies, dragon is a category versus a specific thing. A fairy can range from a literal guy to a water demon that shapeshifts into a horse and drowns people. Those are real fairies. There, there's this guy, he's just a guy. And uh, is, he's called the Gonkana. The Gonkana is basically, uh, translates to love talker. And he just seduces people. Like, that is what he does. And the other one is a Kelpie. I'm sure you've all heard of a Kelpie. You know, stay away from a horse that's near the water. Because it's probably a Kelpie. And so, when you broaden your scope of what a dragon actually is, things like Vibrava being a dragon makes more sense. I mean, I was never opposed to the fact of Vibrava being a dragon. I was always like, oh, that's cool. I mean, I didn't understand why it was when I was a little kid, but I still thought it was cool because back then dragons were cool because they were dragons it did not matter what they look like dragons were cool but when you delve more into the lore so let's say uh pokemon altaria 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 is a pokemon based on the chinese legendary bird peng which is a giant legendary bird as i just said with a fish for a face like it has a fish's face and it can fly over thirty thousand miles with a single flap of its wings to most westerners that sounds pretty friggin' draconic. Most Westerners would think that, regardless of what, if they didn't have the mental image of what Altaria was, they'd be like, oh yeah, no, I can see that as a dragon. But because it doesn't look the giant reptilian red dragon that people think of whenever they think of Dungeons and Dragons, it's not a dragon? Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. And I guess, I guess due to my own personal experiences, this is like, I am, I get very, I wouldn't say defensive, but like combative, I guess? I can't even think of the word. When when people say, oh, this Pokemon shouldn't be a dragon because it doesn't look like one. Let me tell you the scope of like the people who say that. Like this is their intelligence level in the kindest way possible. I have spoken to somebody who said that Mega Ampharos should not be a dragon because it doesn't look like one. When I informed them the reason why it's a dragon is because its Japanese name literally can translate to lightning dragon. They said that was stupid, and then in the same breath said that Flygon and Yanmega should be bug dragon types because they're dragonflies. So that is the scope of people that I generally assume I'm talking to when they say these Pokemon shouldn't be dragons because they don't look like them. That is like, first of all, Flygon isn't even a dragonfly. I mean, I can understand that most Americans wouldn't know that, but it's based on Antlion, which is something else entirely. But that's, that's what I'm saying. They're like, oh, well, Mega Ex Alolan Exeggutor shouldn't be a dragon. Like, why? Well, because it's a palm tree. Well, it's based, it's hinted at being a Mo'o, which in the, the gen that it was introduced in, a Mo'o is a Hawaiian nature spirit that generally presents itself as a lizard. Most Americans would consider lizards to be dragons, hence why they always say Charizard should be a dragon. But the Mo'o is actually a shapeshifter and can turn into just about anything at once. It's more limited than most shapeshifters, but what it generally likes to turn into is palm trees and lizards. Like, why is that not draconic enough? But Charizard just having wings and breathing fire. Executor can breathe fire. Well, I mean, it can't now. Altaria, Altaria can breathe fire. Ampharos can breathe fire. Why is it suddenly different? Because it doesn't fit the very limited view of what a dragon is. In fact, the reason why I like how Pokemon 
is introducing Pokemon like Noibat and Gudra. And Gudra is actually based on a French dragon that is literally a straight up slug. It is a straight up slug. There is a sea slug that people would call a dragon because it's called the blue dragon, but it's literally just, it's literally a sea slug. Straight up, it is just a sea slug. And the reason why I like that Pokemon designs like that and then saying that they're dragons is because it is pushing the idea of what a dragon actually is, at least to Westerners. Because like when you go to like other cultures, it's like, oh yeah, no, I definitely believe that, that that's a dragon. Yeah, that's a dragon. I believe it 100%. But Westerners are like, oh, no, no, no. It needs to be, it needs to fit this very specific mold. It needs to be really buff. It needs to have four legs. It needs to have big wings and it needs to like have some sort of elemental power. Usually it has to be chaotic evil. But then they don't question Pokemon like Giratina, who is literally based on a centipede. Why is that? Like, come on, bro. Come on, keep it, keep it consistent. Dragon is a category. It is not a set thing. Get with it. Mm. Okay, so that was my rant and rave about dragons and why Certain Pokemon should be dragons and why Charizard shouldn't be a dragon. And um, yeah, what are what are your thoughts on dragons and fairies? Like, subscribe, and um, I will see you next time. Bye.